so we just saw what the force is on conductor b due to current in conductor a right and and we call this force on conductor b due to conductor a as fba fine we had done this case for 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 showing that unlikes will repel so let me first of all erase this right this we had done in the last video so so let me first of all do away with it right now let us try to find out the let us try to find out the let us try to find out let me let me erase this but not erase the wire okay so let us try to find out the current the the force on this conductor on on conductor a due to current in conductor b right now looking from here and applying the right hand rule if i if i keep the thumbs of my right hand along this and curl my fingers okay so so they'll come all the way from down and they'll curl like that right so here here the field will be in the upward direction right so field will be something like that and we already have the current in this direction so so the current is already in this direction right so so the current is like that this is i a and this is b and what is this b equal to what is this b equal to it's again mu not i upon 2 pi d but this but but this time the the source current is ib not ia right so so the field here will be given by what the the, the field here b is equal to mu not i b upon 2 pi d right this is the field here now what is the what is the force the force is again i l cross b and i make this this l which is in the direction of i to go like this right so it goes like that looking from this direction this is an anti clockwise movement and this anti clockwise movement will bring a right handed screw towards this direction right towards this direction so the force here on current a due to current b is is in this direction do we see that it is in this direction now now what is that force let us try to 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 get that so so i know that my and this time it is force on a due to b so i say f a b is i l b right i but this time i is i a and l is l and b is mu not i b upon 2 pi b right so f a b is mu not ia ib l upon 2 pi d right get that now if you compare then then this fba the value of fba the magnitude part of it is the let me let me erase this the magnitude part are the same mu not i a i b l mu not i a i b l and 2 pi d in the denominator they are the same and and the direction is opposite okay so they are actually an action reaction pair and thereby satisfy the newton's third law of motion 
so if i state it in the vector form then f a b is minus f b a okay and this satisfies this satisfies the newton's third law for every action there has to be an equal and opposite reaction so if this wire is getting pulled this wire in turn is getting pulled by this wire by the same force correct so and and this this i can say is is f b a force per unit length on b due to a so so i can also find out the same thing for this f a b okay so i can say that here here i can say that f a b upon l is equal to mu not i a i b upon 2 pi d so i get mu not i a i b upon 2 pi d right we get the point now this can be used to define an ampere right what happens if i keep this as 1 and this as 1 and keep the distance as 1 meter i keep the currents as 1 ampere and keep the distance between them as 1 meter let us see what do we get so so what we are trying to do is to derive the definition of ampere from here right so so we say that we are trying to define the ampere definition of an ampere we are actually trying to define one ampere right so what does it mean let us see first if i a is equal to i b is equal to 1 amperes and d is equal to 1 meters then what is f a b or f b a as see both of them are the same again why because because f b a and f a b was the same i have just divided them by l right so the magnitude of both of them is the same so f is equal to i am not distinguishing it by writing ab or ba so f becomes equal to mu not into 1 into 1 upon 2 pi into 1 correct and this becomes equal to mu not upon 2 pi and what is mu not equal to it is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 upon 2 pi so 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 in effect upon 2 pi so in effect my f becomes equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 Newton per meter, isn't it? Now we can very well say we can say that 
that one ampere is is that magnitude of current is that magnitude of current which when flowing in to long parallel wires two long parallel wires exerts a force of exerts a force of 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 newtons per meter between them one ampere is that magnitude of current which when flowing in two long parallel wires wires kept 1 meter apart kept 1 meter apart that is important exerts a force of 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 newtons per meter between them get that and that is what is the definition of an ampere okay this is why it constitutes a definition of 1 amp okay how can you keep both the currents equal so so you are not aware right now what do you do you take them sufficiently long obviously you'll not be able to take them infinitely long okay you'll never be able to do that you take them sufficiently long and from this end you say connect it now what happens suddenly the two currents will not be in the same direction they will be in the opposite direction so they'll start repelling instead of attracting so they, so you will find a repulsive force of so many newtons per meter okay so if you have taken say 100 meters of wire then it becomes it becomes 2 into 10 to the power 7 into 100 total total force will be 2 into 10 to the power 5 newtons that's pretty pretty small a force to be measured but you can measure them you can measure such forces okay that's and that's why it constitutes the definition of an ampere yeah this will also work if you connect different batteries to different wires right uh, not recommended because because the wires they are not so very uniform that their resistances will be the same okay so it's best to to yeah. take the same current and keep on adjusting it till you experience that much amount of force per meter okay and and then you know that it is 1 ampere flowing right